What's up everyone, I'm Eldridge and welcome to my video series on map tactics in World of Warships. In this first episode we'll look at the map Islands. It's the first map that everyone has to play. It is in rotation from tier 1 to tier 4, although it is very very rare that you'll get this map in a tier 4 ship. But it is possible to get it. If you're an aircraft carrier captain then you will never see this map and as such I'm not even going to talk about aircraft carriers. This map comes in two versions, a conquest version and a domination version. Islands is the smallest map in World of Warships and it is entirely designed for beginners. It introduces basic mechanics and how to utilize islands as cover, but due to size and layout forces rather quick and action-packed matches. The map features a belt of islands running right through the center of the map, dividing it into three sectors. Because of its small size, friendly torpedoes can cause quite a lot of havoc. So avoid firing dangerous salvos when teammates are close by and pay heed to not sail into friendly torpedo spreads. Destroyers can spawn in any of the three spawn clusters. As a destroyer on islands, you should move into the center area of the map. This is the destroyer playground. Own this area for your team and your team has a good chance of winning the game. Do this by laying down torpedo salvos as often as you can into passages between the islands. And if any enemy tries to come into the center area, mark him for your team and greet him with some friendly torpedoes. Once the enemy has been thinned out or the battle has progressed in either side past the center, Make use of the islands to ambush cruisers and battleships with your torpedoes. All during the game engage other destroyers in the center area. Keep them lit up for your cruisers and dodge as much of the return fire as possible. On islands just like on every map as a destroyer you want to stay alive as long as you can. The longer you can stay alive as a destroyer the more likely it is for your team to win. Try to block off passages between islands with smoke to create zones of cover for your teammates to enter the center area. In conquest game mode, once the battle has progressed, try to spearhead through to the opponent's side and capture their base. This doesn't necessarily have to end the game, but it puts pressure on the opposing team and forces them to retreat to their capture zone, instead of pushing to your side for their victory. In domination mode, put a lot of effort into controlling the zones in the center. As a destroyer, you are uniquely equipped to capture these zones without dying to opposing fire. When zones are being captured, go there quickly and light up whoever is capturing it for your team. Mark them and have your cruisers take them out. Lower tier cruisers, just like their higher tier counterparts, have really good guns and do a lot of damage over time. However, unless you're in the Tenryu, you don't have an amazing amount of mobility and maneuverability. And as such, you should be very careful where you go on this map. This map is so small that a destroyer could be lying in ambush into basically any island. And if they catch you out, it'll be over quickly. Instead avoid the center area and patrol alongside it, making sure to use your guns whenever there is a target to fire at. Fire at the targets your destroyers point out to you, help them so they can keep helping you throughout the game. If enemy ships start focusing you, break off, drive directly away from them so you present the smallest possible target and increase distance until they change their target, then turn around and re-engage. Definitely help the friendly destroyers take out the enemy destroyers. If your team has destroyer support and their team doesn't, this map becomes a lot easier for your team because you can actually move into the center, control two thirds of the map and deny the opposing team a lot of possible island cover. If you can motivate some of your teammates to follow you, you can also attempt to break through the center into the enemy third of the map to outflank them. If there are battleships on your team, you could also escort one of them. Battleships at this lower tier are very, very vulnerable to destroyers. But when they have support from cruisers, they can be very formidable. On the conquest version of this map, you should focus on killing opposing ships. It is going to be very difficult for you to capture the enemy's base and you're going to have to leave that to your destroyers most of the time. So just help them by doing as much damage as you can without dying. In domination mode, prioritize enemy ships that are capturing the zones. If no one is around and you're really far away from any enemy ships, don't be tempted into capping. The points rarely win the game on this small map and your guns are needed elsewhere. It is much more sensible for you to go and find enemies to fire at than to sit there and cap a point. You're also making yourself a target for the opposing team much more than you should or have to. If you are unfortunate enough to get this destroyer paradise in a battleship, you should under all circumstances avoid the center until all enemy torpedo carriers, that being destroyers and tenryus, are accounted for or killed. There's absolutely nothing to be gained from a battleship charging into the center of this map. You're just exposing yourself to a lot of fire from people who have great cover from you, and you're exposing yourself unnecessarily to torpedoes. Keep your distance. 
Also make sure to look for a slow cruiser like a Chester or St. Louis and follow them around for extra destroyer protection. If a destroyer comes into view, mark them for your team so your escorting cruiser can react faster to it and help them with putting damage on whatever they're firing at. If a destroyer becomes spotted within 7 kilometers, assume that he fired torpedoes and ship her either directly toward or away from him to present the smallest possible target and to make it easier for yourself to dodge the torpedoes once you see them. Do not initiate pushes through the center. Yes, you have the most hit points, but at this low tier you are so incredibly susceptible to torpedo fire that moving into the center without any kind of support is going to get you killed most of the time. And you'll just be one of those sad sods who goes on Reddit or the forums and says, Oh my god, torpedoes are so overpowered, battleships are so bad. Don't be that guy when it can be so easily prevented. But if you see a group of cruisers initiating a push through the center line, follow them. Your firepower can definitely make this a success for your team. Neither on conquest nor domination should the objective ever really come up for you. You're just too slow to go and cap any of those points. But if you see an enemy capturing your zones and you're within gun range, obviously take some shots at them. All in all, there's not a lot of meta game on this map because it is such an incredibly low tier map. Most of the people who play this map are either super new to the game and have absolutely no idea what they're doing, or they're just playing low tier ships to have a bunch of fun and they really don't care all that much what they do and just react to whatever is happening around them. In general, this map is just intended to have fun, so if you take some of the pointers I gave you, the map should immediately become a lot more enjoyable for you. I hope you enjoyed this first installment of my map tactics series, and I will soon follow up with the next one which will be Big Race. What do you think about Islands? Do you like it? Do you come back sometimes even though you're higher tier? Or do you absolutely hate it and you can't get out of there quickly enough? Do you have any fun stories or cool replays to share for this map? Be sure to tell me about it in the comments. The next World of Warships video will be my full review of the Ishitsuchi. But until then, I've been Eldritch Master Donkey, and I'll see you in another video.